Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create JetFan Revit family. In this video, I will create two part of family, FanGuard and main family, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create FanGuard family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face base and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 150 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Go to create and select the reference line. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for R. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference line. Create similar and draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for R1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference line. Create similar and draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for R2. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference line. Create similar and draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for R3. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for R parameter. And click apply. Add formula for R1 parameter. Add formula for R2 parameter. Add formula for R3 parameter. And click apply. Check and play the D parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Off dimension and reference line. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Create a similar and lock to reference line. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Finish the sweep. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Create a similar and lock to reference line. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Finish the sweep. Go to create. Select the sweep. 
Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Create a similar and lock to reference line. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Finish the sweep. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Sketch path. Create a similar and lock to reference line. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the D parameter. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to steel material. Keep type and click OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for small r. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for R parameter. Click apply and OK. Finish the void extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace stainless steel polished material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Save the family. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the metric mechanical equipment model and open it. This is created axial fan parametric face base family. I will use and load this created family into this main family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane. Go to front view. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up a new work plane. Select the family. Assign DA parameter to DA. Keep type and click OK. Assign DI parameter to DI. Keep type and click OK. Assign E parameter to E. Keep type and click OK. Assign L parameter to L. Keep type and click OK. Assign AF parameter to AF. Keep type and click OK. Off top termination box visible parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 225 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to L parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 937.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 280 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to HF. Select the existing reference plane. 
offset 240 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to DA parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 200 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to DI parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw the line from intersection point to 35 degrees. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set radius 20 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to fan body material. Keep type and click OK. Select the geometry. Associate the material parameter to fan body material. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the family. Assign D parameter to D. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Insert the reference dimension image. Go to family type. Create a new family type for diameter 400 and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension and click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 335 and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 315 and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Click apply and OK.
check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the family type. Click apply and OK. Save the family. Let check how this family work in project. Insert and load this family into project. Go to 3D view. Select the family. Check and play the family type. OK, JetFan family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.